Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo the Broken Alliances question. Now, this question is pretty high level, especially at level 40. So I feel like a lot of you, anyone who you wears leather is going to be going after this chess piece. So I think it'll be pretty huge for you guys in order to complete that chain. But I apologize for the late video today. My sister was actually uh, brought to the hospital. But for good news, um, she is having her second child, which will be pretty awesome. So I will be an uncle yet again, and I will be having a niece. So that's pretty exciting news happening for me. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the very first thing you're going to do, if you are Horde, you are going to come to Kargath to get the Broken Alliances quest, where you have to then go to kill Boss Thorgan, who roams around this area. He's with a group of ogres. So this can be a little challenging, but he is kiteable. So as long as you're a hunter or other classes could probably just go in there and pop all their cooldowns and nuke them before you die. Um, two viable strats, but the golden strategy that you'll see us utilize a ton is just simply kite him back to Kargath and you will be able to have the guards help you kill him. But we're going to go out here and we are going to go try to find him and I will see you guys when we get there. Vroom. Alrighty guys, so we have found boss Thorgan. You can solve this as a hunter by just simply shooting it and kiting it However, we do have some other people doing the quest so more people the better But I'm going to start off by just dropping a freezing trap shooting an explosive one And then shooting the boss and then we are going to sort of just kite our way out of here kill him Nothing else really matters for dying once he's dead you can then keep kiting or I'm not sure if they're going to kill him or not, but it's pretty easy. He's only a level 42 elite, nothing, or level 42 normal mob. So it looks like we're killing the rest, but if you were solo, you could just blast him as you saw him right there. And then, you know, press that wonderful feign death button if you so choose. But since we have enough people here, we can just simply fight them all. But anyway, that's this next step. Um, he spawns at this camp here, or all the way over there, and then just sort of rotates the entire Badlands. So we saw him die, and then we just came here and waited for him to spawn right here to now go loot him. Then we will go turn this in, and I will see you at the final step. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So the next step that we are going to be doing after getting the uh, turning in the quest and then getting the second part which is the hard part is we are going to go to broken alliances diamond runestone amethyst runestone and opal runestone after you have these three runestones then you're going to free the dragons with the seal of earth quest line um, and that is where we are going to do the hard kiting part so essentially you just have to kite the level 50 elites all the way back to Kargath so essentially the entire Baron's zone and it's not too difficult you just have aspect of the cheat on you shoot it with a arcane shot every now and then as you keep running and you'll be fine the most difficult thing is to watch out for wildlife so that's what you would command your pet to attack while you're doing this but nothing too difficult but i'll definitely show you guys the start of that and what we're gonna do um it would be way it'd take like 10 minutes probably to kite it to Kargath, but i'll show you the beginning and the end part of it because you guys probably don't want to watch me run all the way back and forth to Kargath. so anyway guys i will see you when, at, when we summon them all righty guys so we cleared out the area here and there are some level elite dragons but as a hunter once again you can kite these i have some help but once you have all three runestones you go ahead and turn in this thing the seal is broken and the dragons then spawn right on top of you so it's important to make sure that you attack them and you just keep pack on and you keep doing it so this hunter has one and i have the other one and we are just going to keep running the entire time and making sure that we are constantly kiting one of them and you just got to keep 
strafe shotting them. Make sure you do not get too far ahead of them because you do actually outrun them. So that is the toughest thing. You sometimes will have to stop to make sure that you keep shooting them. But he has one and I have the other. You could do this with both of them as you could see. But as long as you make sure that you just keep hitting them with anything, you'll be fine. So this rogue decided to keep hitting him and ended up pulling aggro. So that is a bad move by him but we are able to just keep moving it along here he has one i have the other and we are going to kite them all the way to kargath so as you can see we just got to be careful angle your guy to strafe shot them just like this kite them all the way to kargath just constantly tagging them making sure that you do not do it if you're in a group and you have others what they can do is sort of make sure that they are clearing the way so and having a nice path so you do not run into it. But as you can see, you can do this with just as a solo hunter. If I was solo there, I would have just had my pet attack them, feign death, and then kite them all the way to Kargath. So we are going to just be doing that right now, and then I will show you guys when we get to Kargath. So I'll see you then. Voop. Alrighty guys, so we made it to Kargath, however one of ours got bugged, but once you're in Kargath, just go ahead and start blasting him, because the guards will pull off eventually. If you have threat of him, obviously keep kiting, but once all the guards are here, they'll do a lot of the damage, so you just need to make sure you hit that threshold, and you keep kiting him, otherwise dying to him would be the worst thing that could happen. Um, but you just sort of keep kiting them like this as you see threat got exchanged But you just simply put on your cheetah you run faster than them If you're gonna get hit by flame buffet as you saw right there Just make sure to swap your aspects again um, Once you have viper none of this should be a problem Just make sure you keep blasting him the entire time because which the worst thing that could happen is For you to get all the way here and him to despawn so you just keep running like this all the way to Kargath if obviously I would have preferred to not have to take him back out again but we are able to get the kill and he is lootable. So that is one of the dragons. Unfortunately we will have to go back to get the other one because the other one either like despawned or something. I don't really know. I was kiting that one. But we're going to head back, get that one and we'll only have to kill one this time. So we can let the other one just despawn and just bring Backlash all the way here. So anyway, that's it and I'll see you at the next one. Alrighty guys, we brought the second one here to Kargath. Um, we learned quite a bit as you can see. Uh, what you should definitely do is put uh, Arcane Shot rank 1 as you're kiting it. Um, I would highly recommend doing it in a group, but if you want to do it solo, as I said at the beginning of the video, you just have to be very aware of your surroundings and make sure you have your pet attack like next to you attacking mobs that you're gonna go to you do not need to um really have it do much else other than aggro the mobs and then pull it back so great pet management would be how you would solo it but you just run it here and the main reason to run to kargath is because you can turn in you can do it both at a time or you can do one at a time but this is how you're going to get your awesome blaze wind breastplate which is huge for hunters rogues feral druids pretty much every class so now we can sort of rock our artemis cal and we have the blaze wind breastplate but that is how you guys are going to complete the quest broken alliances um it's super easy with a hunter if you do not have a hunter you can kind of do it by throw kiting but it's a way harder so i would highly recommend that you find a hunter to do it because this chest piece is nutty but anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.